Hello and welcome to my let's play of Quantum oh, Conundrum. In case you don't see it, there's an electrical converter on the ceiling that needs to be pressed. I am one mad. I am one mad hat, and let's kick things off. All right, so for this first puzzle, puzzle, we're gonna take the IDS battery from the the anti grav IDS battery from Ike. And you see we have a safe over there. I'm just gonna dick around a little bit. But essentially, what you have to do is you have to go into Fluffy Dimension, pick that up. I said pick that up. There we go, and we're gonna put it over to where that is, so that when we go into anti-grav, we can open the door. You might have noticed that's just in the middle of the wall. Now, when we come down this ramp, I can't believe my memory hasn't returned yet. So I apparently have the sniffles today, but as we go through the ramp or just drop down, we see the safe here, and we just line it up with the door, and we jump on it. And that was an important lesson. Don't just go into anti-grav because you're just going to hit hurt yourself. So what you need to do is we need to drop this back down and we're going to line it back up again. Right here. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to just make sure I was right. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go back into anti-grav and we're going to slow down. And we're waiting for the door to open. It takes a little bit of time. And then... Just go through here, and that's our first puzzle. Fairly simple, right? And then we just have to wait for the next puzzle to load. This is a very small transitional area. Usually it's a lot longer than this. And they couldn't remember the greatest puzzle in the world. No, this is just a tribute. Alright, so what we're going to have to do here is, you see there's two electrical, electrical converters. <laughs> And that flings the safe, hitting that button flings the safe. So we already have one of the two we need. We're halfway done. Unfortunately, uh, it's not going to be that simple. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to pick this up. You don't need to put on the electrical converter, obviously, because it's not going to do anything. But we're going to need what we're going to need to do is I just wanted to see if it'd throw another safe at you. Now, I do this wrong because I just now noticed that there's the anti-grav. Do I break that glass? I do break that glass. For whatever reason, I didn't think I did, but you have to do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to just throw the anti-gravity IDS battery in there, and then we're going to take this, we're going to place it back down in front of the, what do you call that, plateau. You can see the safe's in there, so what we need to do is you need to come up here, and then we need to have the safe up here, so we're just going to anti-grav it and fluffy dimension it, and hold the grab button. All right, and then we're just going to line up so that when we go into anti-grav, it'll hit the electro converter and it'll open up the trap door. Strangest feelings that they might be sentient. And then all you need to do is open up this door right here. Open up this door right here. Um, okay. Apparently I don't open up this door right here yet. There we go. Good job. And we're just going to take this out. And then we're going to fly back up here. Whoop. And then we're going to grab this safe, because we need both of them. And that's how we complete this puzzle. And... yeah. I'm sorry, for whatever reason I didn't think I opened up that glass. And more transitioning. I a completely seedless strawberry once. I hated getting the seeds stuck between my teeth. Do, do, do. All right, here we go. I have fond memories <coughs> of this room when I was about your age. It used to be the parlor. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, so this is the first we're going to be introduced to how these conveyor belts work. As you notice, I you still... I sometimes, much like yourself. <laughs> If you see underneath the conveyor belt is the arrow pointing one way. So what you can do is you can go into anti-grav. You know, and I put those belts there for a reason. Just think about it. Notice how that safe was still going in anti-grav. So you just need to bring a box, cardboard box. And we're going to drop it right around here. Oh, nice. And break the glass. Not happy. Scare Ike away. And then I'm going to attempt to break this glass. Nope. 
Alright, well maybe once more. Uh, apparently not. And let's try to make this a hat trick. There we go. Alright, so here we're going to have a little bit of a maze. It's not, like, really mazy, but as you can see, you kind of see how, how you're supposed to go. You have lasers and you have uh, conveyor belts. So essentially what you just need to do is you just need to kind of follow it to make sure it doesn't get destroyed or fall into the ooze that's at the bottom. And so you just follow this, like, anti-grav, and then it'll go across, and then you bring it back down, and then when it gets to the... Oh, you don't need to... Sorry. I don't know why I thought you did. And then we're just going to drop it so it doesn't fall into that little hole up there. And then it's going to go back into anti-grav. And then we're going to drop it and go into heavy dimension. And then we're going to do another anti-grav thing. And then be careful here. If you wait too long, it's just going to fall into the ooze. I actually lost this once, and I thought I lost it here at first. I was like, oh, crap. But thankfully, it came back up. And then you just go into heavy dimension. On reverse engineering that. <laughs> Science juice is quite an amazing substance, you know. In addition to being a fuel source, it's also a superconductor and amplifier of energy frequency. Just a small amount infused with dimensional extract can build enough energy to power the IDS device receptacles. Yes, <laughs> this area unfortunately flooded a few weeks ago. You'll need to go all the way around. All right, so this area is okay. just... Cross there. There's a bunch of conveyor belts. Well, wait, that's not how that goes. And you just kind of have to look at your surroundings to figure out how it's you're supposed to go. Like just jump up here using the anti-grav. Don't. And I mean, you know, you could fall if you want to. Got to get down to get up. Well, wait, that's not how that goes. But be careful not to slip off. I did that a few times. And then, come on. Sometimes you get lucky and fall on another conveyor belt, but a lot of times we'll just die. Alright, and then here what we need to do is we need to, that to come over here. That, uh... A safe that's going to come out of that those little flaps is going to anti-grav it way up. And then when it gets here, you're just going to drop it and slow down and use it as a platform to get on the other side. And jump. And jump. There we go. And then, hi, Ike. Just trying to see what I can do here. Alright. Now, this is very similar. That just goes into anti-grav. And then just play the waiting game. Some more waiting game. And I realize that's just too far away, but you can use uh, anti-grav to kind of fly it away over closer to you if you need to. And then again, we need to do the exact same thing here. So on the far end, you just need to... And I, cut a little bit here because I was messing around too much but you just need to bring a safe up to that top conveyor belt and then just ride around here just slow down so you can jump on it and hop your way across well played why thank you okay and then this is all you have to do is there's two ways go uh, conveyor belts are coming but you just need to watch one and then right when they Roughly when they cross each other, you want them to drop. They don't have to cross each other, obviously, but you want to get to this platform here. And complete the puzzle. Sorry, I'm really sniffly today. Alright. And this next puzzle... There's, there's going to be a lot that's cut out of this. If this is... Yep. So I'll explain to this why this is a little bit difficult in a little bit. I but it's... I believe that there are mm, three safes down there. If that helps. And this is just easy. Just... Heavy battery. 
bring the safes up, then use it as a platform to jump across, and then get the battery, and then just do the same in reverse. Holy crap, Ike. And down, and across. Wait, a little bit lower. There we go. Jump, jump, and thankfully this time we're not screwed. We've been screwed before when it's too low, but we can simply just do this. And up to Daisy. Alright. So we're going to get to a point. We're going to get to this dolly after we... Yeah, I saw that and I was like, I'm not going to cross that. I don't want to destroy the... Don't let heavy ideas battery. In the way of a clearly logical solution. Hit the button. Alright. So what you want to do is you need to... Oh no! Oh no! Okay, so what I... First off, when you get the fluffy dimension battery, you need to put these in a very precise place. Now, on that far end, I don't know, I accidentally cut it out because I cut out like 20 minutes of me not being able to do this correctly. Because this is really, really finicky. Because you need to put these in a specific order. Because when you go over, you need to use them as platforms. But all you need to do to get the fluffy battery, and I'm really sorry I cut this out, is you see all the way where that red button is. What you need to do is you need to go into heavy dimension, and you need to let the cardboard box break the glass, and it'll come out. And then you can just, you know, get in there from there. I'm so sorry I cut that out by accident. Alright, and then here, what happens is you go into... But yeah, you go into heavy dimension, you wait, you hit the button, and then you just cross. And I believe we're coming to the end of the video, so... Like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff you need how to do. We have an Indiegogo campaign for the Nerdy Bomb. If it's still up, go check that out in the description. And then Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. One Mad Hat slash, or slash One Mad Hat with two Ts. I believe that's it. Look out! At the end of this video, I'm going to just show how to get the fluffy dimension battery. It's probably going to be over while I'm talking here. I can't believe I accidentally cut that out because I'm a noob, but yeah. So, if the video might go a little bit longer than I'm talking, if not, bye!